best advice is initially to dedicate some fraction of some person's time mm. to being the data person. And what that, there's three responsibilities assigned to that person. The first is they need to educate everybody. Okay. Uh, and that's a key part that's missing from lots of different businesses. Uh, the second part is they need to choose a tool that everybody okay. can access. And then the third part is they need to dedicate time for office hours. Interesting. So let's work backwards there. I mean, I understand they need a tool. That's yeah. obvious, right? Yeah. Like you, you're going to start digging ditches. You're going to have to have a shovel or a pick or something or a backhoe. I don't know. Right. Um, and somebody's got to be in charge of it. Yep. it makes sense. You got to deputize somebody because if everybody's responsible for it, then nobody's Nobody responsible is. for it. We all know <laughs> yeah. that. Right. Um, so, you know, it's like the three people like, you know, in the outfield and the ball, you know, lands between the three of them. It's yeah. like, oh, so. I guess nobody's going to catch it. Um, but this last part, office hours, is the most interesting to me. Office yeah. hours is what college professors do. Yes. And that was a big part of the culture at Google, wasn't it? Is this office hours. Yeah. Marissa was famous for her. Yeah. I went to many of those. Uh, overbearing uh, office hours. How long do you have to wait? Be honest here. You're not working for her anymore. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. You're laughing. <laughs> for people not watching, he's turning around and laughing. <laughs> What's the longest you had to wait for Marissa? It's, it's, she's made amends about this party. She's very busy. She's yeah. very busy. Yeah. But you would have to wait. You would have to wait. An hour or two. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. I have to say, this is the height of arrogance. Uh, no, she's just busy. It's like, no, no, no. You no, have no. a lot of demands on your time. So ridiculous. Uh, she had a it's lot of demands on her to time. To take somebody who went to Dartmouth. No, no. Or Jason Shellen was on this program and he was making fun of her for it. Oh, really? I mean, she was young. She was probably just young and it's yeah. a dumb decision, to be honest. Well, do I did, trust me, the list of things that Marissa's done that's dumb is about a hundredth of the list of things that Jason Calacanis has done that are dumb. So she's definitely got to be. But I mean, talk about a horrible decision to let a Dartmouth graduate wait for 45 minutes or the <laughs> co founder of Blogger to wait for an hour or two. People were pissed at this. Be honest. Come on, be candid, Thomas. It's frust it was frustrating. Yeah. But uh, you know, she really tried to model it after the way that she had it at Stanford, I think. Right. Um, yeah, well, students, like, you can kind of be like, they yeah. don't have time, but you're yeah. paying somebody $100,000 a year to make them wait an hour. It's crazy. Anyway, putting yeah. that aside, office hours. You obviously modeled this after what you learned at Google, correct? Yes, exactly. W what's the point of office hours? Well, so we, we actually observed, when we did our research for this book, we actually observed that this notion actually exists within... Uh, at Facebook in the data team, and mm -hmm. it also exists at Zendesk and a handful of other companies. Got it. And the point of office hours is there's a salesperson who is trying to close an account. Mm -hmm. There's a prospective customer, and they want to sound smart and prepare for the call. And Got it. They want to figure out, like, some answer to a question, like, what fraction of our customers have grown their account base over the last year, right, to show kind of success for the product? And in most companies, that salesperson is stonewalled at step zero they don't know where to go right like yep. maybe they've taken out an engineer for a beer and they're like hey buddy can you do me a favor right i'll be your wingman the next time we go out right like that's kind of step one and so what office hours solves is like okay i have this question where do i go mm. interesting so it's basically like it it's almost like a, you're giving people this great outlet yeah and it's it's codified in a way yeah. You just know every week yeah. on Wednesday, there's a window for you to ask a stupid question. Yeah. Because everybody feels like they do, when that data person is constantly being bothered, aren't they? Like yeah. their whole life is like, I found with people who have access to the data, their entire lives, it feels like this weird tension of like, I don't want to bother the guy for this data because okay. maybe it results in nothing. Uh, or gal. And then it's like, oh, if I, you know, then that gal seems really busy and maybe she or he has a chip on their shoulder because so many people are asking for yeah. so much and they don't understand why they want it. This is the real problem. And then you send in a request and they didn't quite interpret it the right way and so they send you a data set back and you're like, actually, I need to do this thing, not that thing. Oh, and that thing took two hours. Yeah, exactly. So office hours lets you come and have like a neutral, like nice and easy yeah. discussion and the person then, it's codified, right? Now you, you, you really have codified two things. This person's in charge. Yep. Three things. This person's in charge. Yeah. The tool we use is this, and yeah. everybody has access to it, and you can talk to me at any time between yes. these hours. Yeah, that's right. You have Very permission. Very interesting. You have permission. Right. And that's a big deal. That's right. a big cultural change. 
Hey, everybody, we've got a great new partner on This Week in Startups, and I'm really excited about it because it's a product that we're using here at This Week in Startups and launch, and it's called Design Crowd. You can go ahead and check it out at designcrowd.com and on Twitter at Design Crowd. What is it? It is the best way to make a logo, a graphics, or web design for your business. It's an online marketplace where you can outsource or crowdsource, as you know, uh, custom designs, and they have over 500,000 designers there around the world. Here's how it works. Very simple. You post a brief. What is a brief? It's basically like your spec. I'm looking for a logo for This Week in Startups. It's a podcast with a bombastic, uh, aggressive, Brooklyn-born bulldog of a host, Jason Calacanis, but it's about technology and finance. Um, and then you get feedback from 50 to 100 designers, sometimes even more, and then you give them feedback. So you look at the 50 or 100 designers work and you say, you know what? These three speak to me. I like the Bulldog logo. We used to have a Bulldog logo in This Week in Startups. Yeah, let's let's play off the Bulldog. And then I like this other person who's doing the skyline of uh, New York and the skyline of San Francisco. Oh, that tells the story of Jason going from New York to San Francisco. Great. You give them that feedback. It motivates the designers. They give you more. And then you select the best one, and you approve payment to that designer. It's a money-back guarantee. There are designers all over the world who love working on this type of platform, and their clients include the Harvard Business School, Forum for Innovation and Growth, Virgin, HTC, Absolute Vodka, Amnesty International, which was my first job out of school. I worked at Amnesty International as a microcomputer specialist um, and 100,000 plus small businesses and entrepreneurs. Visit designcrowd.com slash twist and they will give you up to $100 on your next design project. Go ahead and visit designcrowd.com slash twist and save up to $100 on your design project. And for the super fans, Special mission, go ahead and thank at Design Crowd on Twitter and Facebook, and I will uh, like it and retweet it from our different accounts. Great way to uh, engage and reward the partners who make independent media like This Week in Startups possible. Thanks again to our new partner, Design Crowd. Go ahead and try it. It's really good. Okay, let's get back to this amazing episode. 